Um, it is Wednesday, February 26, 2020, and the uh, storms have passed, the rain has passed again. The sun has come out, and it's almost 12 degrees Celsius out here, about 54 Fahrenheit. You see, we got lots of activity here. I don't know if that's just cleansing or a bit of orientation or both. Uh, the sun has just come around from behind the big cedar tree up there. So the hives are going to warm up again with that uh, black tar paper on there. You see even the little hive's got quite a bit of activity in front of it. So, well the sun is out, it's dry. I'm going to uh, take the inspection boards out, clean them. As you can see there's quite a bit of uh, cappings on the bottom. And uh, once I clean them up, I am going to do an oxalic acid treatment with my uh, modified wand. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos on how I did that, I've got a couple of videos up on my channel that uh, describe how I put that together. But I will show you it in action here today. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, clean these boards off and then I'll be back. clean I put some fresh uh, olive oil on them wiped them down good and slid them back in so now I've got the uh, ventilation holes at the top closed I've got the entrances closed up and uh, so now I'm just going to do some treatments I've got my uh, uh, protective mask here and I've got my little homemade caps that I've got my acid measured out into already and I've got my 10 minute kitchen timers these are just really cheap they're like two or three bucks off Amazon they're ready to go for the 10 minute countdown and all I have to do is take this this is a, a wall anchor aluminum wall anchor and I've just drilled a hole in the center of the back of the hives all of the hives and then I can insert the uh, nozzle from the treatment uh, wand into that. So I'm going to put my mask on now and we'll start it up. So all this is is basically it's a wand that I modified with uh, oh some high temperature epoxy, a little tube on the front and a dish and of course I've got a little temperature scale here. This is a little meat thermometer. And I just drilled a little hole in the back of the aluminum block and put the tip in there. So I'm just going to connect the battery. Once that reaches 420 uh, Fahrenheit, I'll stick a cap on there and put it in through the, through the hole and uh, we'll do a treatment. Nice thing about this is I don't have to be in front of the hive. I just do this from the back. So this is going to take a couple minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video for now and then I'll be back when it's ready. Looks like we're ready to go. Now I'm going to take the plug back out because no center took it out and the girls were finding a new e exit from the hive. So take that plug out of there. Hide that in there. And turn it over. bit escaping around the the uh, inspection board. I'm 
You only have to keep this in for about a minute, and that should cook off all the acid and inject it straight into the hive. Ten minute timer and put the plug back in. Wait for it to heat up again. should be done so I'm just going to move everything over to the low hive and then we'll do that one. Sure, that's done. Yeah. All right, tell me back in a minute. So, there's a bit of uh, smoke left coming out of that. But there's a bit of buildup on the inside of that, especially around the entrance to the tube. So, all I'm going to do is take a bit of uh, clean water. 
Well, this thing is still hot. side to let it cool off. This first hive is done. So I'm just going to open them up. quick and easy it is with this new system. So I'll check tomorrow. I guess I can take this mask off now. Oh, oh that's better. I'll check tomorrow and uh, pull out the inspection boards and uh, do a mic count. And I'll keep a record of how that's going and all I gotta do is pack all my see that's the package of of plugs that I got so I've got everything in my carry-all here so it's just a really simple matter of storing it all in there and then when I need it I can bring it all out at once there's my plug nice and clean there's a little bit of crystallization on the top of it I'm going to let the wand cool down here. Yeah, it's still 232 Fahrenheit. So it's going to take a while for it to cool off. So I'll just leave that out here. Just sit in the air. And that's all there is to how I do my mic treatments. So, uh, the weather's going to be, it's clouding over and it looks like it's going to rain again. But uh, that part is done, so we'll see how it goes. And I can see the girls are bringing in pollen. And lots of them are coming in with pollen. Nice. Very nice. All right, I will uh, talk to you again soon. Hopefully I can do a, an inspection video here in the next couple of weeks, depending on weather. And... Uh, We'll see how they're looking on the inside. All right, so bye for now. Hope you're all having a good day.